Hello my friends, today we will be taking a look at Peak Design Slide Camera Strap. If you are carrying around a large camera with heavy lens, supply strap definitely isn't the most comfortable way to do it. Fortunately there are other options like this Peak Design Slide. This is their heavy duty model for larger cameras and heavier lenses. They also make slide light and leash camera straps. I have also ordered the leash and I will make a review of that very soon. I chose the Summit Edition in blue color, but it is also made in black and red. Material they use is similar to material that is being used for seat belts in cars. And they chose this material because it is supposed to slide over your clothes and make manipulation with your camera easier. That is also where the name comes from. This strap is basically a tube made of that material, which means that the edges are smooth and that it definitely won't cut you in your neck like the stock strap. Center part of strap is padded to provide even more comfort and help with weight distribution on your shoulder. Stitching on this strap is very heavy and this strap definitely won't break under heavy load. There is a length setting mechanism on each side so that you can set it so that the padded part is on your shoulder where it is supposed to be. That silver part unfortunately doesn't lock the strap length, it is just there to make the manipulation easier. There are also rubber stripes over the padded part so if you don't want it to slide you can just turn it on the other side and it is supposed to stick to your shoulder although that doesn't work very well. The attachment points are made of high quality plastics, tan leather with heavy stitching and then there are quick attachment mechanism which is probably my most favorite part of this strap. It works with supplied anchors and thanks to this mechanism attaching and detaching the strap is very quick and easy. It is also very secure, you need to press the button down to release the anchor. Supplied with this strap also comes a carrying pouch, for anchors and a base plate. This base plate provides more options to attach the strap to camera and it is also ARCA compatible and that means that you can use it to mount the camera on a tripod which is really great. Now I would like to tell you how I am using this strap. So I bought it for my Nikon D5500 that I used with 10 to 105 mm kit lens because I was going to Beijing, China and I knew that I would be carrying the camera all day long so I wanted something comfortable. The best option for me was to use the base plate and left attachment on the camera so I carried it with lens pointed down which I prefer. And this in my opinion is the best way to use this strap with DSLRs and heavy lenses. Then I also use it with Sony a6500 and Sigma 18-35 f1.8 lens and MC11 adapter. In that case I use two points on the base plate. For smaller mirrorless cameras like Panasonic G85 with short lenses I use the attachments on the camera or one on the base plate and left attachment on the camera but for smaller cameras I recommend either slide light or leash. I personally never use it as a neck strap, I don't find that to be comfortable at all. Probably the biggest, um, not downside, but reason not to buy this strap is that it is on its own quite bulky piece of equipment and it will take as much space in your bag as bigger prime lens. I also don't recommend this strap for smaller and lighter cameras. I don't think that it would make sense to carry a strap that is as big as the camera itself. As I said, for smaller cameras, I recommend slide light or leash. But generally I think that this is the most comfortable way to carry a big and heavy camera setup. I like the craftsmanship, materials, design, quick release system, ARCA compatible base plate. So I think that this is a great strap. It is also quite pricey at $65, but it is worth in my opinion. So thank you for watching, I hope that you liked this video and that you have found it to be useful. I will make a Peak Design Leash review in a couple of days, so stay tuned for that. And maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss that. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.